to the chat. Dear Vaitea, so happy to have you here. The virtual stage is yours. Thank you very much, Silke, and thank you for having me. Good morning, everyone from Berlin. Uh, so I'd like to start off by, by sharing my screen. So soon enough, we should be seeing our climate clock. Uh, maybe this is the first time you see it, but for us at Anapter, we act with a strong sense of urgency. So this clock is a, is a reminder uh, of our deadline, right? The time that we have to take decisive actions to keep um, warming under the 1.5 degree threshold. So on the right hand side in green, we have the share of the world's energy coming from renewables. So just shy of 30%. And we want this number to be at 100% before our deadline is zero. And so we're all here, hopefully, understanding that hydrogen will play a key role in uh, achieving net zero. But the challenge is to reduce the cost and to deploy it at very high speed. It is with this mission in mind that we started an after in 2017. Green hydrogen needs to be really cheap by 2026, not 2050. An after manufactures the patented AEM electrolyzer, which produces high purity green hydrogen, the lowest cost, and also at an extremely fast pace. Unlike the others in the industry, we are rethinking the electrolyzer. We're making electrolyzers a product that can be mass produced. So this brings us to our topic today, how modular electrolyzers will drive down the cost of green hydrogen. So to start off, Let's look at a graph from um, the Bloomberg New Energy Finance that showed the trend of uh, power generation in Europe over the next 30 years. So, of course, there's going to be a, a centralized large plant for uh, industrial uses and other use cases. But what else that we notice on this uh, on this graph here, here we go again, is that there's a clear trend for decentralization, right? We notice that there is a peak in the low megawatt scale, which is mainly from wind and solar energy. And there's another peak here on the left hand side in the kilowatt energy. And this is coming from uh, solar rooftops, so mainly the, the appearance of the prosumers that are coming up. So looking at these two trends, decentralization and distributed energy systems, we believe that a modular and flexible electrolyzer is the way forward to meet our future energy needs. Another way of understanding our disruption <laughs> is to look at how solar panels disrupted uh, the electricity market. I mean, you no longer had to rely on electricity that was uh, produced far, far away. It just cut the supply chain and suddenly someone could put on their own um, solar panels on the rooftop and generate their electricity on site. We believe that modular electrolyzers will do the same in disrupting the supply chain of fossil fuels. We no longer need to rely on resources that need to travel and that pollute along every step, but to generate our own fuel on site and on demand. At an after we're rethinking the electrolyzers, we are making a product that can ultimately become uh, a commodity. And so when we look at uh, the economic history and look at what had the biggest cost reduction, it's commodities. So we're going to mass produce our electrolyzer. And we like to draw an analogy between uh, the electrolyzer industry today and the IT industry in the 1980s. Today's electrolyzer manufacturers are building systems similar to the IT industry's early mainframes, these giant supercomputers, mainframes, which require sophisticated engineering and planning, kind of difficult to scale. 
At Anapter, we're mimicking the introduction of a PC, a product that is standardized, modular, and scalable. And when we look at today's uh, data centers, they're made of laid servers, which are saving energy and also saving space. And we're going in the same direction, understanding that standardization and a compact footprint are key to mass production. So by now you might be wondering what our electrolyzer looks like. This is our electrolyzer today. It generates 500 normal liters an hour of pre-pressurized hydrogen gas at 35 bar. And you can stack these systems according to your hydrogen requirements. There's no technical limits to stacking your systems. We've developed our electrolyzers over an iterative process. And we're quite proud of our accomplishments. If you look in the last three years, every year we've been bringing out a new electrolyzer and consistently reducing it in size and driving the cost down. Now you might wonder, mm, why make a compact building block and how is this cost efficient? Well, it's thanks to our uh, secret sauce, our patented anion exchange membrane technology. In principle, the AEM is like a PEM. There is a membrane, but it's attracting the anions and not the protons. A unique aspect of the AEM is that it doesn't rely on noble metals for high performance, high efficiency, and long lifetime. So essentially, we're getting the best of both worlds. High performance like the PEM, cost effectiveness like the alkaline. But what's really exciting is that the AEM is 15 years old now, and there is so much R&D untapped potential for us ahead that, um, yeah, we're really excited about what lies ahead and the, the amazing potential that comes next. Anapter is using a platform-based approach, which means um, that our AEM stack is the platform. So we're inspiring ourselves from the automotive and the PC microprocessor industry in the sense that we have a common element, a core, which is our AEM stack, which will be the same whether we have a 2.4 kilowatt electrolyzer or a me one megawatt multi-core. In the end, having this universal product enables us to increase our speed in product development and also significantly reduce uh, our development costs while increasing product variety. We've also understood that energy needs to be digital. And so we have a fantastic software, st software team who developed our energy management system as well as our mobile application. So this essentially enables you to remote monitor and control your electrolyzer and your entire energy setup, no matter where you are in the world. And our partners and customers really uh, appreciate the how robust uh, our EMS is because hardware diversity is welcomed. And so what we mean by this is that in an energy setup, you don't just have an electrolyzer, right? You'll have um, the inverters, the batteries, the fuel cells, and many other components that are, that are made uh, by different manufacturers. And so if you want them to act as one main system, you need to allow them to communicate to each other. And so we have our universal communication module, which enables them to, uh, to communicate to each other uh, and to control the system as one. So you can see here some, uh, yeah, some dashboards that we have to really monitor it in real time. Uh, and, um, and another point I didn't mention is uh, how quickly you can integrate your system. So it's just uh, scanning a QR code and you can uh, get it running and, and just watch its performance from uh, your mobile phone. So it's the future, basically. <laughs> So I mentioned our customers and our partners. Um, we have over a hundred of them uh, worldwide. 
and they are across uh, all the different uh, sectors. So Anapture is a technology provider. We provide the AEM electrolyzer and our customers and partners integrate them in, uh, in all the sectors. So we're off to the use cases, taking a trip around the world, uh, starting off with uh, Australia, with our customer uh, Lavo, which you might have heard about. They're making quite a splash uh, in Australia. And they're one of the first who are really uh, making hydrogen, I believe, a lifestyle product, um, providing hydrogen for uh, energy systems, for homes, also for businesses uh, and for barbecues. And I think you can really see the fit um, that we have with them because they are really seeing hydrogen as a product and going for modularity, which is a great alignment uh, in mindset and in scaling. Another one of our use cases is the Pisua house in northern Thailand in Chiang Mai. And uh, this one is dear to, to our hearts. This is where uh, the roots of Anapters are. Um, this is where I met my co-founders, Sebastian and Jan. And um, it's a fantastic showcase of um, a sustainable lifestyle using uh, solar energy and of course, hydrogen energy. So four electrolyzers here are um, generating hydrogen on site and uh, during rainy season or uh, at nighttime, then the house can uh, have its energy independence uh, for yeah, 30 hours. Um, so that's the piece of a house. And then if we go up another size scale, uh, we have the um, uh, use cases for our microgrids. So this one is uh, from a microgrid in Thailand. And we also have uh, microgrids in Malaysia and uh, on Nuit de la Réunion that are using uh, our electrolyzers. So any remote area, islands or mountains that are disconnected from the grid can get an electrolyzer, produce their energy on site, and again, right, cut the supply chain. No need to fly in diesel to run a diesel generator and, yeah, mid CO2, have some noise pollution. I mean, we know all of the negative effects. So um, here's a clean solution. And we also wrote an article uh, about ditching the diesel and making a full technical and uh, cost comparison between diesel and green hydrogen. Okay, now the next use case is another sector, which is our power to heat sector. So this uh, is a project in the Netherlands, uh, in Rotterdam. And uh, DNVGL is uh, the project manager who came to us and asked us to supply some electrolyzers because the uh, gas and network operator Steden wanted to prove for the first time that homes can be 100% uh, can be heated with 100% uh, clean hydrogen. And so this is where we came uh, into play to provide the electrolyzers that generate green uh, hydrogen on site. The hydrogen is then fed into the, the pipeline that is directly connected with the uh, 25 apartment complex building uh, and the, the hydrogen boilers are standing in the, the ground floor of the apartment. So a clear case for flexible and scalable electrolyzers to meet the demand on the, for example, on the heating sector. So we're going to switch again industry. Um, now we are in another one of our use cases, which is um, ammonia production. So this is from our uh, customers in the United States in Colorado, Starfire. And again, a company that understands um, modularity and understands uh, the, the, the scaling uh, opportunities here with um, flexible systems. And so they chose to purchase some electrolyzers to generate uh, their hydrogen on demand instead of relying again on, on the supply chain and um, to also have this flexibility to scale up because they have massive um, scaling plans and they know that they can scale up with uh with with our help as well so go starfire and another use case back to australia uh lots of sunshine there 
and uh, an example here of our power to gas use case. So this is with our um, customer Southern Green Gas, which um, are pairing uh, solar panels with our electrolyzers and uh, carbon capture technology to generate uh, green methane. So also really interesting uh, to see them grow as they have uh, they announced scale up plans um, in May, and uh, yeah they plan on on scaling up to 620 kilograms of green hydrogen. Um, so yeah, their plans is also then to to um, to drive the the green gases into the pipelines. So um, also an exciting use case to see growing. And last but certainly not least are use cases in the mobility sector. So we have, um, uh, yeah, we have some customers that are using our electrolyzers for on-site refueling, whether it's for a hydrogen drone, or as you can see here, the image of the hypercar by Hyperion in Los Angeles, amazing car. <laughs> and um, our electrolyzers are also being used to refuel uh, Zero Avia's plane, um, the high flyer. And they're benefiting from um, significant cost reductions by having the electrolyzers on site uh, at the airport to refuel their aircrafts. So we have lots of use cases. I invite you to check them out on our website and uh, read all about uh, the AEM used across the, the world. Um, but also maybe to give you some impressions of where we are. Um, we are. Uh, manufacturing our AEM today in Italy. You can see on the uh, bottom image, this is a, an image from our serial fabrication. Uh, amazing team. Uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome. And uh, we're also uh, expanding in uh, in Pisa. So you can see here the expansion into our uh, neighbor, neighboring uh, buildings and uh, some new labs, some new offices. Uh, some new space to welcome the the new colleagues as Anapter is uh, is quickly growing to increase the speed of development and yeah urgency right that's our topic so um, that's what's happening in Pisa but the other big news was our campus announcement the Anapter campus in uh, North Rhine Westphalia in Germany which is uh, in the climate uh, community of Zabek. so this is where we will mass produce our electrolyzers um, and. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a blueprint, pretty much, of um, the mass production uh, for anion exchange membrane electrolyzers. And what we mean by this is that, for sure, we will learn uh, from this whole conceptualization. But also, as you'll notice, uh, all of our rooftops are covered with solar panels because we believe that scaling green technologies does not need to come um, uh, as a trade-off in regards to the environmental impact that we have. So we want to showcase that um, scaling up can also be green. And we coined the, the term uh, life cycle impact zero, which is for us setting a new standard for sustainable industrial production. So as you've seen, um, rooftops covered with solar energy, and the whole um, campus will be powered by locally sourced renewable energy from the climate community of Zabek and also from our own um, energy systems, which includes solar and hydrogen. And we are also taking back our electrolyzers at the end of their lifetime, so recycling them and making sure that we have no uh, negative impact uh, on our environment. So if you're ready to get into hydrogen or if you're looking for um, modular, flexible and cost effective electrolyzers, you know who to reach out to. Um, our vision is to live in a world where fossil fuels are no longer burned. So uh, we are on this mission right now to drive down the cost of green hydrogen ASAP. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dear Vaitia, and I can tell you